Hello, fellow traders. Tis I, the Rumpled One, coming to you Friday, October the 30th. The year's 2020. Let's talk trading. It's time for the weekly wrap-up and the monthly wrap-up. And as you all should know by now, unless this is your first uh, one of my videos that you're watching, these videos are for educational purposes only, and your results may differ from mine. And always have your stop loss in place, your risk management in place. And along with that, brain management. Don't, don't get sucked into these. We've talked about that. And the money management. Take the profit before the market takes it back. You could be up 20 pips one minute. You could be down 30 the next. All because you didn't take your profit. So for the week... We still have those two pairs did not fill the open gap. So hopefully you weren't trading those pairs trying to get that open gap fill. The pound, 108 pips off of the weekly open. And 59 pips off the low. We took a nice bounce off of that out of that weekly rat zone. And so looking at the day, here's the opening range for the month. And look what happened. We came back to the monthly open. So we're only 30 pips above the monthly open. So once again, price left that range and returned to it. And for the week, you can see here, we uh, busted out Wednesday, Thursday, we returned it only to drop. Friday, we tried, but didn't make it. Once again, for the month, 29 pips above the open, week 104 below, year 303 below, 18, 19 pips up on the day. We are in that weekly inside bar that occurred six weeks ago. And let's just see what does this week look like. It looks like this week broke the previous week's low, so it won't be an inside bar. And let's check the month. Oh, we will have a new monthly inside bar here next month, come Sunday slash Monday, as you can see, this month inside bar the previous month. Ranges, pound only clocking in at 89, but it is the last day of the month. You might have thought there had been a little bit more price action on the pound dollar. You can see we've got six pairs over 100 for the day. And you can see the pivot point was above the open. So those trades to the long side all paid off. There wouldn't have been a short side trade if you were fading the pivot because we hadn't reached the pivot yet. Red rats are feasting. Oh, and somebody was asking about the uh, rat zone. Um, I'm not really sure what you're confused up, confused about. Any short taken in this area is a valid rat trade because a rat trade says that you will enter a trade somewhere between the current daily high and 20 pips off the current daily high unless you have the smart rat which right now is about one pip above and you can see here the green smart rats about 2.3 below so any trade entered in this area up here short that's a valid rat trade any trade entered here in this area that's a valid green rat trade now what you use to enter those trades, that's kind of up to you. Or you can use the simple rat reversal here. Red candle closes, green candle closes, high, go long at the green candle. But right here, I don't think the rat zone would have been working. But here's a better one here. Um, green candle closes, red candle closes, go short at the low. You can see here there was pips to be made. Green candle closes, red candle closes, short at the low. Pips, green candle closes. And then the uh, red candle closes, but you can see here the low of this is outside the zone, but this is where you'd want to take the trade right at the edge of the zone here. And you can see that paid off very well. 
once again we took out the pivot so we can look at what we have for the month as far as pivots go we didn't miss any pivots in the month of october on the week we didn't miss any weekly pivots during the month of october The wick zone in and out, in and out. The ranges, once again, only 89 pips at the 23 percentile. High minus close, 48 right now, 50, or not, 51, 52 percentile. Close minus low at the 44 percentile, 45 at the moment. As you can see, these numbers change because everything's dynamic here. High minus open for buy zone traders, 64 to the upside and open minus low, 25 to the downside. Once again, pips to be made. On the M1 chart, wow, that was a huge move right there. Off of that three ball, broke the high, take the long trade. Oh, and I guess, what was it? Was it yesterday or the day before I had said in a video I wanted to go short, and then that the pound did tank after that. So I don't know if any of you picked up and got in that trade. I think it was 130 30 something I can't remember off the top of my head but I hope somebody got that trade and you can see here we had a wall mall line that price broke above good for three pips if you waited to take that or you could have taken the trade off of the three ball here we've got another rat reversal type trade happening there's no semaphore at the top but once again um, right there that was good for about three four pips so the rat reversal trade you can do that anywhere in the chart it was designed to be used in the rat zone but as you can see it can be profitable anywhere in the chart but for the most part um, you know I suggest traders stick to the horizontal lines very simple trades especially if you're new Oh, and I think we had taken a some few things off of this. Um, we took off the uh, show. Training wheel history. False. We were taking that off. Just to keep the uh, chart kind of clean. Not to confuse traders. Because all you need are these two lines here, the Walmart lines. And you can see here, you would want to go long at the green, short at the red. Sometimes it works out. Sometimes it doesn't. That's just trading. Um, the one trader, I think, was trying to find get an answer how he can get into a trade and know it's going to be profitable, know it's going to be a winner. <laughs> you can't. You really can't. Hopefully you listen to the uh, cold hard truths about um, trading this week. I might continue it next week. I want to get Walmart to chime in one day at least and give his take on some of the cold hard truths. Um, he's been busy this week. Maybe he can uh, join us again next week. But as you can see here, we're wrapping up the month. I guess they're just closing things out. Price is definitely jumping back and forth a lot here. Nice moves on the one minute chart. But once again, you can just stick to the hourly chart and just trade at the line with the candle color. 
Now, some, I think somebody asked, how many times can you do it? That's up to you. You know, if you go up here and you make 10 pips and it comes all the way back down, um, usually that's telling you something. It's like, well, if they're sellers, just push price back down. So maybe you want to try again at the 40. Maybe you don't. You have to make that determination. Sometimes it's best to take it, take it, and then wait for the next hour and see what happens. Because after we get that range for the hour, let's see, what is that range? We got our 23 pips. We're at 65 percentile. It's just going to go back and forth. So I wouldn't look for the most part to take that trade again here at the 40. Because why this can be profitable is because when it starts out, price has to range. Um, and we can see here what these ranges are each hour. I mean, so you can't fit, you know, 20 or more pips in a 10 pip range. It's not going to work. So, so in this case here, we have 23 pips this hour, but it only barely went through the 30 line. In fact, we can show it here. It went through the 30 line drop down to 28.6 so maybe you could have gotten a pip or scratched that trade and then jumped right back in and maybe you could have made it up here or once again you could have taken the reversal but if you're just trading the walmart lines i mean you could have made up made it up on the other side and you can see here there was a trade here a trade here another one there and another one there and another one there so the question is do you want to take it maybe you took the first one and you could be done with it or maybe you like the way price was moving and you go in again with the uh, thought of maybe i can make a pip just just give me one pip and be happy with it so fellow traders i hope you had a profitable day week month and a profitable year so far and i wish you a fun and safe halloween this tomorrow be safe out there a lot of craziness going on um stay healthy and always remember and never forget when you're at your trading platform it's not what you trade it's how you trade it so drain the banks and if this is your first time here, welcome. Click subscribe, click like, click the bell, click copy to share the video all over the internet. This is the Rumpled One, over and out.